the little one sleeps in its cradle. I lift a gauze and look a long time, and silently brush away flies with my hand. The youngster and the red-faced girl turn aside up the bushy hill. I peeringly view them from the top. The suicide sprawls on the bloody floor of the bedroom. I witness the corpse with its dabbled hair. I note where the pistol has fallen. The blab of the pave, tires of carts, slough of boot soles, talk of the promenaders, the heavy omnibus, the driver with his interrogating thumb, the clank of the shod horses on the granite floor, the snow sleighs, clinking, shouted jokes, pelts of snowballs, the hurrahs for popular favorites, the fury of roused mobs, the flap of the curtained litter, a sick man inside born to the hospital, the meeting of enemies, the sudden oath, the blows and fall, the excited crowd, the policeman with a star quickly working his passage to the center of the crowd, the impassive stones that receive and return so many echoes, what groans of overfed or half-starved who fall sunstruck or in fits, what exclamations of women taken suddenly who hurry home and give birth to babes, what living and buried speech is always vibrating here, what howls restrained by decorum, arrests of criminals, slights, adulterous offers made, acceptances, rejections with convex lips. I mind them or the show or resonance of them. I come and I depart.